Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome to episode number 21 to my Metal and Beer series. Metal and Beer. Today I've got a killer guitar lesson for you, and I'm going to show you how to play some killer power chords using the fourth and sixth notes. And I'm also going to share a very tasty beer with you. So let's learn these killer power chords playing the fourth and sixth notes. Now, if we back up, we know that a power chord is really just those two notes. It's your root note and your fifth note played together. So we're starting out this lesson with a C power chord. So it's going to sound something like this. And what we're doing in this lesson to make them what I call killer power chords, because I do think these sound pretty killer, is instead of playing the fifth note every time to make that power chord, we're gonna mess around on some of these and, and some of the power chords are gonna play the fourth note instead of the fifth, and others we're gonna play the sixth note instead of the fifth. So when we take that C, which is the first chord in this lesson, we're gonna play the C power chord. Now move from that fifth note to the fourth note, and it's gonna sound like this. That to me sounds pretty killer. So your pattern is really just this. That's it. And of course I'm doing some alternate picking and some palm muting so the rhythm is really this. doing there is I'm just hitting the chord one time and then I'm doing that alternate picking with the palm muting. You can play that part however you want to. The purpose of this lesson, what I really want you to get out of this is just playing around you know with those fourth and sixth notes. So let's move to the next power chord that we're playing in this progression here. I'm going up and I'm playing the E power chord still on the second and third string here. And we're going to sound like this when we play that. But instead of starting out with that E power chord, remember the root note and the fifth note, instead of starting out that way, we're going to start out playing the sixth note. So it's going to sound like this. So we're doing the sixth note. Then we're going to the fifth. And then when I add in the alternate picking and palm muting, it's going to sound like this. So that's the basis of this lesson. That's what I want you to grab. So let's go back to that C note again. Remember, we're playing the, the root note with the fifth, making the power chord. And then we're going to move from that fifth note to the fourth note. If you're not quite there at the picking pattern, that's okay. Just practice moving your fingers around like this. And then go to the E. Now we take the lesson a step further and I go back to the C note. My final note, or my final chord rather that I'm hitting on here is a D. Now with the D power chord, I'm starting out with a fourth note, then going to the fifth note. So it's gonna sound like this. So that's pretty 
much it. I'm going to play this all the way through for you again, and, and again, I'll have the tablature up here so you can follow along. So here we go. So guys, just practice those patterns over and over. Again, if you don't quite have the picking down, you know, I'm doing this alternate picking with some palm muting uh, for you intermediate, intermediate to advanced guitar players. You guys can get that. Uh, if you're just starting out, don't worry about that part. You know, what I really wanted you to get out of this lesson is to kind of get away from just playing the straight power chords and venture out and try some more notes. You know, try these fourth notes, the six notes. Uh, try third notes, try whatever, just throw some different stuff in there and play around with those power chords and you can get some really killer sounding power chords out of doing that. So you're probably wondering by now, hmm, what's Jason drinking today? Well, I'm glad you asked. Today I am trying a beer from Polliner called Salvatore Doublebach. Now this beer is from Munich, Germany, which is very cool because I have some German roots. Guten Tag. It's my computer. So let's give this stuff a try. Yum, yum. That is one tasty beer. Now, again, this is Polliner Salvatore Doublebach, and it's out of Munich, Germany. Now, they do have a cool write-up on the back of the bottle, so I'm going to read this to you guys real quick. The secrets behind Polliner's excellent taste, I can attest to that, and unwavering quality are locally sourced ingredients and a tradition of craftsmanship that's been passed down and perfected by our dedicated brewmasters since, and get this, 1634. That's a long time. Here in Munich, Polliner beer is not a mere product, but it is a matter of the heart. And I can attest to that as well. This is definitely brewed with heart and soul here. And this is one of those beers, the Salvatore Double Buck. It's one of those beers that I can't really compare it to anything. You know, you drink a lot of beers, you taste a lot of beers, it's like, okay, well, this kind of tastes like this over here or that over there. Uh, but this is definitely uh, one of a kind, in my opinion. So, definitely a good brew. And if you run across this stuff, again, it's Polynor, Salvator, Double Bot. Definitely give it a try. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this week's Metal and Beer series. Metal and Beer. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning these killer power chords using the fourth and sixth notes. And I hope you enjoyed kicking back and having a brewski with me. It's always a good time. Don't forget to go to my website, jasonstallworth.com. That way you can check out my music. I have links to iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, all those great places on my website there. So check that out. And if you haven't bought my book called Heavy Metal and Weights on Amazon, definitely pick up your copy of that. It's pretty cheap. There's a Kindle version and a paperback version. I go through my whole story of how I started out playing guitar and lifting weights. I uh, give you a lot of really cool tips and recording and, and just getting the motivation to practice on a daily basis. And there's also two free workout programs within the book. So it's a pretty good deal. There's links to my music and to my book in the YouTube description. So definitely check that out. Guys, until the next video, keep it metal.